what's up youtube i'm zero zeus and welcome back to another fate video um this is gonna be my fate grand order babylonia episode 10 review please like subscribe share and comment thank you for watching and let's get right into the video um i think the name of this episode is hello goddess of the sun and that's really um I'm like, like I said, like always, I'm lost a little bit because I don't know these servants as well as everybody else does. But I, I'm gonna try my best, so just stick with me. Um, the episode actually picks up where it leaves off with this really funny mon, like not montage, but this really, really funny sequence of Gilgamesh and Ishtar going back and forth. Right? Um, basically, <laughs> he's just asking her how does she like being like recruited for his his army right and it's funny that you you don't even think that she was just bribed by gilgamesh to be a part of her army it was all a part of her plan a part of his plan and she has no choice but to roll with it because she wants the gems right um so basically they are like going through weaknesses and strategy stratagems weaknesses of i don't know whether to call it tmi because gorgon that's what we're gonna call her because I was paying attention a little bit more than I usually do. And I was noticing that they were just saying that she has the power of TMI, not that she was actually her. So, yeah, I don't know how that rolls. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm always open to constructive criticism. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, so, basically, he starts to name this axe. And they're, like, basically saying that's going to be their secret weapon against her against gorgon is i think it's the axe of maduk or what I, for, I, for, I forgot what he it was it's the axe of something and basically they used it to split our throat and that's gonna be like their be their secret weapon which i have no problem with i think that's really cool um, some secret weapon that gilgamesh just so happens to have you know he collects priceless treasures from around the world so i mean <laughs> what do you expect from that guy of course he would have something like that right um basically and in between is it's a lot of bickering going on there. they're talking a bit they're trying to explain their strategies and what's going on and him and ishtar they're going back and forth and it's really funny and they start to talk about the goddess in the jungle um and i think please correct me if i'm saying this wrong but i think her name is quetzalcoatl if i'm not mistaken um and they're, they're they're basically trying to figure out who she is because they don't know who she is and they figure that ishtar knows and gilgamesh questions ishtar basically and at this moment like one of the soldiers run in and tell him that it's somebody <laughs> i don't know if he said the courtyard but basically somebody was on their way and it was her and okay i like her entrance because the way that she was just tossing people in, it's crazy because you, you expect a type of personality out of her by being that she's shrouded in brute force, right? Um, she's walking up and basically she you just see her walking at first. And next thing you know, they're cutting back to her and she's juggling like three dudes at the same time. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I would hate to be those guys, right? Um, she threw one of them in a building. <laughs> And then when they were all on the ground afterwards, they all looked like they were dead at that. And I'm going to explain that. And that's like a hype moment. That, I mean, not hype, but it's an interesting point to talk about. Um, but anyway, she basically is destroying Yuruk out of duty towards her mother, I guess. Uh, she told her to do it. And you see these little tidbits throughout the episode where they're talking about how it's not basically she's not doing it out of like maliciousness or anything like that even though she clearly looks malicious like a lot of times that's another thing about her she's just like jaguar man right um she's so playful and funny and you know lively in that type of way but at the same time she's still horrific and killing people and you know it's crazy right um so basically it, like she comes and she leaves and she's telling them it's like she's giving them a prophecy basically <laughs> she comes every day and she's gonna kill a hundred soldiers every day and 
she said one by one. It, while she was saying that, it, like you look at her face, she looked like she's crazed, right? It looks like there's something wrong with her, or like it's gonna be something wrong with her if it isn't already, right? Um, and she basically leaves off. She basically goes off, and they are left to ponder. And, and the whole time you see this situation, like you see this going on, and Ishtar is in the back, and she's making these faces, like not confused. But, like, it's something, if there's something she wants to say or something she can't say, it's something like that. Because you could just see that she knows something or something's going on while she's in the middle of Quetzalcoatl, right? While she's in the middle of talking to him, she looks at her, smiles, and then starts back talking, right? She doesn't say anything to her. She doesn't directly address her, right? And it's something to that. It's something to that. Um, It's crazy. Um, so basically she flies off and as she does this, she leaves she, this big bird thing comes out the blue and she flies off, which is so crazy. Um, she's really tough. She has this well, before the, before she leaves, let, let me just talk about her fighting. Um, I think mash actually saved one of the soldiers, right? And the rest of them, they, they caught that oof. <laughs> let me just be totally honest. They caught that oof. Just to be totally honest. Um, but I don't think... I think that's it. Like, it was a couple of um, blows exchanged and she left. Jaguar, man. He shows up. That's what I really wanted to talk about, right? He shows up, right? And his usual... Well, her usual quirky quirky self, right? Um, <laughs> she's just throwing people inside of this like um, cart that she's carrying with her, right? And she's taking the dead bodies away with her thinking that from the outside looking in is basically looking like she's getting their like the food and these people are gonna eat these people like that's the way that they were talking at first right and come to find out we'll see what they're really doing but we, we have to wait till further in the episode so basically i think the place that they need to go to is iridu i think um Iridu, something, something like that, and basically that's her, the home, the the territory that is hers, that's hers, um, and like I explained to you before, her sister stays there with her, right, it, it's so funny, because after they've been tasked to, tasked to go to Iridu, right, they're walking through the jungle, and basically they're, they're being serious, they're talking about stuff, they're talking about what they need to do, and what's going on at the time, and jaguar man shows up again <laughs> which is so funny but, but let me let me let me just explain first while he's in the village or she's in a village she basically tells him that it's they have this little moment where she's like oh well you wouldn't think that Katsukoto, right i think she calls her cuckoo or something like that um you wouldn't think that she forget to hire bodyguards right and they have this little pause and then it's really funny moment what well, she actually did because nobody showed up right and she calls on the jaguar men of the jungle i don't know the jaguar of the jungle either way this crowd of things came came up and it, it was a really funny it was sequence right and they catch her in the woods later on as they're going to go find her temple and basically approach her right and he, I mean, she, she, I keep saying he, she is really funny because she has this, like, I don't know, you don't think she'd be in, t the way that she was acting was that she's all about the goddesses and her sister and stuff like that, right? You wouldn't think that something so trivial is love. Like, if some, everybody breaks down that he started, but it wasn't love, but he basically complimented her in the same way they bribed ishtar they kind of bribed her to be on their team in, uh, in a way <laughs> and it's funny because um not only did they bribe her i think they actually <laughs> they have this little moment where quetzalcoatl act like they could bribe her and basically ritsuka would have to marry her right and then she would um join them right because that's basically either the either she joins or they try to find some type of way to defeat her right um Clearly, that is not the case, though. <laughs> they did not work on this at all. They, they um, they didn't try to pursue that at all, and I don't really blame them. You see that face? Do you see that face? Um. So basically, she if they bribe her, 
woo her, however you want to call it, they basically get her to be on her team. And she's basically going to lead them from your, I think, to Irido, that place I was talking about where the temple is at. And she's basically expecting them. She's like sitting on a throne waiting with this little crazy look on her face and <laughs> the sharp teeth and everything. Yeah, she's definitely, she is ready for the fight. And in this way, they're like, oh, well, the, my sister, her, she's not going to react to words. You can't talk her out of what she's doing. You're going to have to fight her, right? And that's what it seems like Ritsuka plans to do. Um, but long story short, the, the humans, that's what I meant to uh, mention before I ended this video. The actual humans, they died, and I think she brought them back to life. So if they step up like they want some of her, she's going to put them down, but she's going to bring them back if if they don't want to die i don't i, I don't know <laughs> but um anyway i'm gonna end the video right here because i've been yapping long enough um this was an actual hype a hype episode let, let me just let me just say um but i'm gonna end it right here this is my fake grand order babylonia episode 10 review please like subscribe share and comment thank you for watching i'll see you all